everyone welcome to shrudhi's pharma world today we are going to discuss about ring detachment method ring detachment method is also known as the dunno ring tensiometer method here you can see the assembly for dunno ring tensiometer method dunno ring tensiometer or torsion balance is used to measure surface and interfacial tension if we are having very small quantity of sample for the determination of surface and interfacial tension then this method is very useful the dunno ring tensiometer method that provides rapid determination of both surface and interfacial tension if you are having less quantity of sample so here you can see torsion balance let's see what are the important parts which is present in this torsion balance a platinum iridium wire ring is here this platinum iridium wire ring is having about 4 cm circumference and this ring is attached to a torsion wire and here you can see a scale and a torsion adjusting knob this is torsion adjusting knob and here you can see a scale and a pan is also present here this pan is placed on a stand inside this pan the liquid whose surface tension is to be determined is placed we can adjust the position of the pan so that the ring just touches the liquid with the help of the torsion wire we can exert a pull p on the platinum iridium wire ring when we are exerting a pull p on the platinum iridium wire ring that time the ring detached from the surface of the liquid due to the detachment of the ring from the surface of the liquid some amount of liquid will rises above its level the force required to lift the wire ring from the surface of the liquid is recorded and we can get the value from the scale reading which is directly proportional to the surface tension of the liquid in this experiment we are determining the force required to lift the wiring from the surface or interface that is directly proportional to the surface or interfacial tension respectively now let's see the derivation part of dunno ring tensiometer method uh, as i already said here we are determining the force required to lift the wiring from the surface and that value is recorded on a calibrated dial reading and this value is directly proportional to the surface tension of the liquid here the upward pull is equal to our dial reading in dynes the upward pull is responsible for the detachment of platinum iridium wiring from the surface of the liquid that is uh, recorded on a calibrated dial reading so the upward pull is equal to the dial reading in dynes that is equal to p p equal to w W is the force in terms of weight. When the ring is detached from the surface of the liquid, some amount of liquid will raise above its level, and some amount of liquid will adhere to the ring circumference. So the weight of liquid that is adhered to the ring that act as downward force. This downward pull is equal to mg and here m is mass of liquid g is acceleration due to gravity okay so the downward pull is equal to mg the surface tension of the liquid which act on the circumference of the ring that also influence the downward pull the downward force that tries to balance the upward force we know upward force is equal to the dial reading in dynes and the downward force that is equal to mg actually the liquid film lifted above the ring has two surfaces outer and inner surfaces so outer and inner radii will be the the net force of downward pull is equal to mg 
the surface tension of the liquid on the circumference also influence the downward pull so we can write the downward pull like this downward pull equal to gamma into 2 pi r into 2 2 pi r is the circumference of the ring and here what is this 2 2 means we are having two surfaces the liquid film lifted above the ring has two surfaces outer and inner surfaces so the outer and inner radii will be there so we can write it as r1 plus r2 two radii inner and outer radii so we can write it as r1 plus r2 r1 plus r2 equal to 2r so our equation will be like this gamma 2 pi r into 2 so that is equal to gamma into 4 pi r when the upward pull exceeds the weight of the liquid that time the ring is detached from the surface of the liquid this is a known fact now at equilibrium upward pull will be equal to downward pull as we know upward pull is equal to dial reading in dyne that is p downward pull is equal to gamma 4 pi r because surface tension of the liquid on the circumference that influence the downward pull so we can write it as gamma 4 pi r gamma 4 pi r this is equal to 2 pi r1 plus r2 gamma here r1 plus r2 we can write it as 2 r so our equation will be like this 2 pi into 2 r gamma this is similar to 4 pi r gamma both the equation are same gamma 4 pi r or 2 pi r1 plus r2 gamma both are same from this equation we can determine the surface tension gamma is the surface tension of the liquid so gamma equal to dial reading that is p dial reading divided by 4 pi r using this equation we can determine the surface tension of the liquid in this equation p is the pull exerted through the torsion wire on the ring and we can read this value from the calibrated dial reading in dynes w is the force in terms of weight R1 and R2 are the inner and outer radii of the ring. So this is the equation that is used to determine the surface tension of the liquid. Gamma equal to P divided by 4 pi R. We should use correction factor while using this equation for determining surface tension. Because certain variables such as radius of the ring and radius of the wire used to form the ring and volume of the liquid that is raised above the surface all these factors that influence the surface tension of the liquid that is obtained in the experimental work because of this reason we should use correction factor in this equation so our final equation will be like this gamma equal to p divided by 4 pi r into cf cf is a correction factor the correction factor is obtained by using a standard liquid of known surface or interfacial tension so these are the important points regarding denoring tensiometer method hope you all understand if you have any doubt you can comment below